Hi guys, gonna be doing the Everton program right again. So, so sorry. And she will be. So, now I realize that we bought the game that was for okay. The man to watch. Four goals in three games. You can't argue with that. The action is live. Next. A lovely weather. A warm welcome to Selhurst Park here in London. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action. Can they convert? And a fine stop. Trying to pick out a teammate. And the degree of difficulty wasn't all that high in terms of the save. And I'm hearing a goal has gone in in the Leicester City game. Alex Scott has the details. Yep, yeah, it's a goal for Leicester City. They've scored the opener here with six minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Odson Edouard. They've regained possession. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Oh, what's that? Calvert Lewin. What? Not just the tackle that was needed. Can they forge ahead? Well, goodness oh. me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. So, a corner here. Well, too much elevation on the header, but not a bad effort. Well, here it is, one of the big stories. Philip Coutinho making his debut today. What should we be looking at for, Stuart? Well, he'll certainly add some quality into that midfield area, because he's a really good passer of the ball which will hopefully give the front players the service their movement deserves. Let's just hope he settles in quickly. And really pressing their opponents. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Hello to Mike Stewart and wife Eileen, who are celebrating the wedding anniversary. Congratulations, Mike and Eileen. Well, for Everton, disappointment last time out. They lost in the game against Southampton. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Well, they'll certainly be disappointed with their performance last time out. They never really got a foothold in the game. Today, though, it's important that they show some resilience and defend better as a unit. If they do that, I think they'll probably get something from this game. Oh, Stuart. I'm hearing someone has scored in the Leicester game. Alex Scott has the news. It's a goal for Fulham. They're back level. It's one all with 34 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Good bit of pressing. Yeah. And space to attack. Coutinho. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And over the touchline for what will be a palace throw. Are you? 
Well, for power oh, of 10 out of 10, for placement, maybe 8. And so the first half has come to an end here at Selhurst Park. <laughs> So the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Oh, the pass not finding its target. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Yellow. One. Four. Well, considerable transfer speculation in recent times, and now, Stuart, it has emerged that United have got their man. Well, the fee being talked about is around £70 million, so he'll need to have a huge impact on the team almost immediately. But if he plays well, the fans will love him. Well, I'm hearing a goal has gone in in the United game. Alex Scott with the details. Yeah, it's a goal for Wolves. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space and it was a beautiful headed finish. They're now behind by one with 53 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Oh, no. oh can you believe what we've just seen? I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again. Well, back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Well, a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. And with play stop, they will make the change now. And intercepted it. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Crystal Palace taking on Liverpool. Throw in coming up for Everton. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, that's a super ball over the top. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Just 20 minutes remaining now. And a timely intervention. Schloop. Can they hit on the break? And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Everton facing oh, Derek, Manchester what a United. This is. He's got a the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Nil here, and the ball is moving again. He's beaten his man. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. And there's the delivery. And a goal to tighten things up. They've thrown themselves a lifeline. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. And there goes the final whistle. No cause for celebration in the Everton camp. God, I hate this Julius. Man, you did it. I'll build you now, you. You ask Julius. Let's do it.
huge interest in Wissam Ben Yedder. Three goals in his last three matches. Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Everton up against Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And still dangerous. Well, time for a scoring update from the West Ham game. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Southampton. He shot far post, the keeper parries it, but the rebound has been put in nicely. They're back level. It's one all with five minutes on the clock. Many thanks, Alex. Oh, fancy footwork. Well, danger averted oh. thanks to his teammate. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Marcel Zavica plays with... Oh, Kassab big chance here, Derek. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Ooh. Well, they won't get too many chances, so they need to make the most of this. And the danger's still on. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, for Everton, not the best of experiences last time out when they lost against Crystal Palace. What do you expect this time around, Stuart? Well, it was tight, but they just didn't have enough to have... And it's in! 1-0! They breached the defence! Oh, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? disappointed with that he should be scoring from there <laughs> Lisandro Martinez oh. Sancho now It's a fine United move in the making. But they dealt with the threat first. And the touch line for what will be an Everton throw. A wilting under the pressure. And now, they try to go forward. There will be one minute added on at the end. Dangerous ball. Half-time. That will close the book on the first half here at Goodison. So into the second half, can Everton battle back after that first 45? Okay. Calvert Lewin. Real chance. <laughs> As you can see, that's a great bit of skill. He times this so sweetly. What a good goal that is. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Diogo Dallo. Ben Yedder must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it 
has been coming. Manchester and Everton get the ball rolling once more. Let's find out how they're going to react to the setback. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw in. Gay. Big chance to get them on terms. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. And it has been no, judged no, to have been no, no, a bookable offence. No. And it's a wild one. Well, there's not much you can say about no. that. What a miss that was. We need a better man taker. Diogo Dallo. But I think it's fair to say Monaco fans have been holding their breath wondering if the deal was going to go through. It is now official. They can breathe a huge sigh of relief, Stuart. The reported figure of around £45 million seems to be a fair deal, but he'll certainly need to settle in quickly. There'll be a lot of pressure on him to hit the ground running. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Will they profit from this situation? Sancho. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Ben Yadair. It is a decent looking attack here. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Just a quick reminder we'll have action from the Carabao Cup coming up live here on EA TV. It's Everton taking on Leicester City. Will the Cup always win? Oh, they could finish here, Stuart. Great drama here. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Tension building still level, but really sticking to the task defensively. And it comes down to the final five minutes, and he might be in here. Well, no. he's getting in the way there. Oh, Idrissa Gay. Come on. Getting in there to intercept. This might be ideal for the counter. So there it is, the final whistle. Mm -hmm. And no winners and losers instead. And, and the match is. It was very close. To act like you come to your press conference. Yeah, but... We just grab a minute of your time for a few questions. Don't need to chip the element in there. No further questions, thanks. That's this. We go for short one, but this is on the weekend. We'll do well and go on. Bye.